Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to talk about something very important, which is today actually. We celebrate 20th of May as a World Bee Day. Now bees are an essential part of our ecosystem and they play a crucial role in pollinating our crops and plants. So let's dive in and learn more about these amazing creatures. Now, before we move on to looking into the details how B actually serves us, um, let me tell you a little bit around the World B Day. So the World B Day is an observance that takes place on May 20th each year. It aims to raise the awareness about the importance of bees and other pollinators for our environment and food production. So the United Nations designated May 20th as World Bee Day in 2017 to coincide with the birthday of Anton Chaucer, a pioneer of modern beekeeping and one of the first teachers of beekeeping in the 18th century. And we are sharing this because it kind of gives you a perspective um, and opens up a space to discuss with your children as well. If you're doing homeschooling or even if you're trying to find some time um, on a weekend to spend in a fun way. So the main purpose of World Bee Day is to highlight the vital role that bees play in pollinating plants and crops. Bees and other pollinators are responsible for the reproduction of many flowering plants, including fruits, vegetables, and nuts. They help transfer pollen from the male parts of a flower to the female parts, enabling plants to produce seeds and fruits. However, bees are facing numerous challenges, including habitat loss, pesticide use, climate change, and diseases. Now, these factors have contributed to declining bee populations worldwide, which has significant implications for food security and biodiversity. So, World Bee Day aims to promote the actions to protect bees and other pollinators, raise awareness about their importance and encourage sustainable practices that support their survival. And you will see that lots of businesses, particularly in the UK, they have taken up this and they have been selling for the last two days, you know, I've been actually going around some of the um, supermarkets and they all are selling plants that actually help uh, bees and, um, and and it's a very good one to kind of start thinking about it even if you have got a small space you can buy just one to actually start uh, the cycle and particularly on world bee day there are various activities and events that are organized globally such as educational programs, there are workshops, exhibitions, and community initiatives. Many of the schools also ask children about how to protect the bees, so do a project on it. Now, these activities aim to educate people about the significance of bees, their role in the ecosystem, and the actions individuals and communities can take to protect and conserve them. Imagine a world without bees. Now, the World Bee Day serves as a reminder of the crucial role that bees play in our lives and the urgent need to protect them for the well-being of our planet and future generations. And to be honest, bees are exceptional pollinators. Um, as they move from flower to flower, collecting nectar and pollen, they inadvertently transfer pollen grains from the male parts, anthers, of a flower to the female part, which is the stigma of another flower. Now, this pollination process is essential for the reproduction of many flowering plants, including fruits, vegetables, nuts, and wildflowers. It leads to the production of seeds, fruits, and berries, ensuring the survival and diversity of plant species. So, um, the bees also contribute significantly to biodiversity. They pollinate a wide range of plant species, including those in natural habitats, agricultural fields, and gardens. By facilitating plant reproduction, bees help maintain healthy ecosystem and support the growth and survival of various plant species. The presence of diverse plant life in turn provides habitats and food sources for other animals and insects, and it's quite critical for our own survival as well. 
So just as a, as a reminder that, as I mentioned previously, bees are vital for agricultural food production. Many crops such as apples, almonds, um, berries, melons and coffee rely heavily on bee pollination for successful yields. Without bees, the productivity of these crops would be significantly reduced, leading to lower crop yields, decreased food availability, and increased fruit prices. Bees also contribute indirectly to livestock production as they pollinate the plants that provide forage for cattle and other animals. Also, bees contribute to the overall stability and functioning of ecosystem. Through their pollination activities, they support the growth and reproduction of plant communities which provide habitat and food for other animals, as I mentioned previously. So bees also help maintain the balance of natural communities by influencing the distribution and abundance of various plant species. Another important thing to note here is that pollination by bees promotes genetic diversity within plant population. So when bees transfer pollen between flowers of different plants, they facilitate genetic recombination and the mixing of genes. Now this genetic diversity enhances the resilience of plant populations, enabling them to adapt to changing environmental conditions, resist diseases and survive the threats. So by now you already understand that overall bees are crucial for maintaining healthy ecosystems, promoting biodiversity, supporting food production and ensuring the stability and resilience of natural communities. Protecting and conserving bees is essential for the well-being of both natural ecosystem and human society. And this is why you need to make your children aware of these issues particularly when you're talking about science, when you're talking about climate change, when you're talking about the way we can actually promote sustainable living. Now, those are the things, those are the conversations that you want to open up. Again, these are the steps that you're taking to make your child more resilient for the future, preparing them for the future. So now that we have um, gone through the basics of the World Bee Day. If you want to find out more, you can go to the UN website and as you can see here, you know, they have got a whole lot of details around what's happening around the world, but also why do we need to actually um, start thinking about protecting the bees. Um, you can go in there, you can think of a project together with your child to have a mapping exercise, or you can think of, uh, about drawing a poster around it, or even you can do some digital art around the World Bee Day. Whatever it is, you are actually preparing your child for the future, letting them know about the social issues, letting them know how they can make a difference, and also their contribution for the human existence. Now, as I mentioned, that if you go into the website, um, the website gives you lots of different kind of tasks that you can actually do um, to help. Um, but there was a section like this, of course, I've taken from the UN website, uh, where it says that individually by planting a diverse set of native plants, uh, which flower at different times of the year, you can do that, which I have seen has actually helped, you know, for us in the garden, uh, we try to do that. Buying raw honey from local farmers, so you're kind of encouraging them and also contributing to the economy, buying products for sustainable agricultural practices, avoiding pesticides, fungicides and herbicides in your garden. Uh, and that's one of the way um, that, again, you know, something that you can do with your child is by actually starting to uh, to, to, to um, make compost at home um, with all the, um, you know, the fruits and, you know, everything that you are actually throwing in the bin, you, you put them in and you make your own compost that will actually enrich your soil much, much more. Um, you can also um, protect the wild bee colonies where possible, um, sponsoring a hive maybe, um, helping um, sustaining forest ecosystem or building an awareness by um, sharing this information with the communities and also with your network so that we know that we have all got a role to play in this.
So this World Bee Day, let's take a moment to appreciate these amazing creatures and all that they do for us, whether it's by planting flowers, supporting local beekeepers, or simply spreading the word, we can all make a difference in protecting bees and their habitats. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. And yes, don't forget that today in the afternoon, we have got the art session. So please do um, join us. And it's not a long one. And today we are bringing in watermelon. Stay tuned. Thank you.